Welcome to FeedBlitz version 4. This video helps you review and complete the setup for your first mailing list created by FeedBlitz after it scans your site for the first time. The process starts at the site dashboard, which you can access via the navigation on the left hand side. Here we click the Finish Setup button on the list and FeedBlitz tells us what's about to happen. Remember too that there is always expert help available for you should you get stuck at any point in this process or any other part of FeedBlitz. So again, don't hesitate to contact us if you need help or get stuck. One of the great things about FeedBlitz version 4 is that it creates the look and feel for your mailings automatically based on your website. It's obviously important that we check to see what it built and whether we like it or not. So here you send a test mail to yourself to see how it did. We'll review that mail on the next screen. Once the screen returns, the email has been sent. You can check your inbox to see what FeedBlitz built for you. Depending on whether you like it or not, FeedBlitz gives you three options here to go and change the setting. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go review the setting. I'm going to say it's just fine. So here I'm going to leave this choice as is and carry on. As well as collecting the email address for your new subscribers, FeedBlitz also has the ability to add what are called custom fields to the database. You can store things like first name, last name, city, state, zip, relationship to you. For now, I'm going to say I don't want to add them to my database and press on, but you can always come back and do this later if you want to. Next, FeedBlitz asks whether you're going to bring some subscribers over from a different service. You don't have to do this now, you can do it later once you're happy with the setup. If you choose yes, you'll be asked whether to import from file or from a FeedBurner account if you're migrating from that service. Again, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to import subscribers and I'm going to press on to the next and final screen. And finally, here's the code to add to your website to put up your subscription form. The FeedBlitz subscription form is in fact highly configurable, but for now what we're going to do is simply copy paste it and get ready to add it to our website sidebar. You can always like everything else in FeedBlitz, come back and tune the subscription form later to change the settings and how it appears to end users. And so here we are at the dashboard for this list. Like everything else in FeedBlitz version 4, the buttons in the upper right give you quick access to the major areas of list management functionality. Below the chart, we see the subscriber management area, showing recent subscribers and links to all the major areas of subscriber management which FeedBlitz automates for you. As it turns out, the email address that you see there is faked. It doesn't exist. I'm just using it for the purposes of this demo. Now remember, we sent an evaluation email to that email address earlier in this recording. And here we see that FeedBlitz has detected the bounce that resulted from that. FeedBlitz manages your subscribers for you. The dual opt-in process, the unsubscribe process, it handles bounces automatically as you can see here. If a subscriber doesn't activate their subscription, FeedBlitz will automatically remind them three days later making sure that your list will grow as quickly as it can. FeedBlitz also does not charge you for unsubscribed subscribers and people who are waiting for activation or deleted subscribers. So there's no need for you to go through your subscriber list and remove people by hand, unlike other services. And that's it. Your list's initial setup is now complete. All you need to do is take the form code that we copied earlier and paste it into your blog in your sidebar. You're ready to go, collect email lists, and grow your email marketing from now on with FeedBlitz.